Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. Today we're diving into something really exciting, building a command line chatbot that interacts with OpenAI using Go. We'll be leveraging two awesome libraries, Cobra for creating the command line interface and Langchain Go for handling the interaction with OpenAI's API. So let's get started. In this episode, we will set a prompt and then interact with the chatbot. Let's look at the packages we are going to use. We will be using Cobra to build command line functionality. It is a powerful library for creating modern command line interfaces in Go. It provides easy to use commands, subcommands and flags, making it straightforward to build CLI applications with a robust and user-friendly command structure. To interact with OpenAI API, we will use Langchain Go. It is designed to interact with language models like OpenAI's GPT. It is the Go implementation of Langchain. It simplifies sending prompts and receiving responses from these models, making integrating natural language processing capabilities into Go applications easier. First things first, let's set up our Go project. We'll start by initializing a new module. Next, we'll install the necessary dependencies. Let's install Cobra and Langchain Go. This will install Cobra. We will need the Cobra CLI, which acts as a scaffold to create commands. At last, we will install Langchain Go. Now let's build our CLI using Cobra. We'll start by creating a simple command structure. Cobra's Cobra CLI tool makes this easy. The Cobra CLI init command creates the structure of the application. Here is the main function. It runs this function. Inside the CMD folder, there is a file called root that contains the root command handling. Understanding Cobra completely is a topic for another day. For now, we will add a new command, chat. This creates a subcommand called chat. Let's update the short and long descriptions. For now, we will keep them the same. We'll update this function, run, to accept user input, which we will later send it to OpenAI. We need to read input lines from the user, so let's create a new reader that reads from standard input. We will create an infinite loop in which the user can ask questions to LLM infinitely. Let us print the prompt for the user. Now we will read the string entered by the user. We will use read string function. We need to pass the delimiter. This should be new line when the user presses enter. This function returns a string and an error. Let's receive the string in a variable, input. Next we remove the extra spaces from the input string. For now, we will echo back what the user has entered. We need a way to break the loop and exit the app. Let's add a switch statement on the input string. If the entered string is quit or exit, we will exit the app with status code 0. Let's add a print here. Else we will echo the input string. Now the basic command line application is ready that accept the input and echo it back. After that it waits for the next input. Let's try. We need to run the chat command so we add chat at the end of the command. Here is the prompt. Let's enter some text. And the app echoes back. Let's quit the app. 
Now we will add a way to quit the app when Control C is pressed. Here, a channel SIGCHAN is created to handle operating system signals. It has a buffer size of 1, meaning it can hold one signal. This line sets up the SIGCHAN to receive signals, which are typically sent when the user wants to terminate the program. This starts a new Go routine, a lightweight thread in Go. The code inside this function runs concurrently with the main program and terminates the app when signal is received. Let's try the app now. On pressing Ctrl C, the app terminates. Now our chatbot is ready, but it does not use LLM yet. Let's integrate Langchain Go. This initializes a new instance of an LLM client from OpenAI. New function returns an LLM object and an error. Let's receive these. We will handle the error. First, we will accept a prompt from the user. Let's put a print to ask for a prompt. Let's get the prompt using the reader and trim away the trailing and leading spaces. Let's initialize a slice content to hold the conversation messages. Add the initial prompt as a system message to the conversation content. Let's notify the user that the initial prompt has been received and the program is now in chat mode. In the default block, we will process user input with the LLM. To maintain the conversation content, we will append the user's input as a human message. Call the generate content method on the LLM object to generate a response based on the conversation content. This function requires context. We will define it outside the loop. Next is the conversation content. This method with max tokens, sets a parameter specifying the maximum number of tokens for the response. This defines a streaming function that processes the response in chunks. This function is called for each chunk received from the LLM. Let's print the chunk to the standard output. The chunk is bytes. Let's convert it to string. This function should return nil as there is no error. We need to add the response to the context of the conversation. We need a variable to store these chunks. Let's define a variable, response. Now, append chunks to the response. Here we append the LLM's response as a system message to the conversation content. VS Code shows an error here. Let's install this dependency. Now, we will try the app. Here, we need to enter the initial prompt. The prompt is set now, we can chat. We throw a question and the bot responds. If we give an empty input, it responds with this. We can ask a follow-up question like this. And that's it. 
we've successfully built a command line chatbot using Cobra and Langchain Go that interacts with OpenAI's powerful language models. This chatbot can be further enhanced by adding more commands, handling different types of interactions, or even integrating with other APIs and services. The possibilities are endless. Thank you for watching. If you found this tutorial helpful, please like the video and subscribe to the channel for more content like this. Don't forget to leave your comments and questions below and let me know what you'd like to see next. Happy coding and see you in the next episode.